Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do another unboxing. Um, this is from the company Marlando. Here's the box. It's kind of a bigger one. Um, in the past, I've worked with Marlando on just experiencing their bags and giving them some exposure on my YouTube channel. And I'm still really enjoying um, the, the satchel I have from them. I got it maybe a year ago now. And um, just recently I was on their website checking things out and they have a new finish on one of their backpacks that I was like, this is way too cool. So again, thankfully, I'm, um, I'm just grateful for another opportunity to work with them. These are my opinions, but the bag was sent to me to review. To review. I love being transparent with you guys, so I wanted to start with that information. And this is the Rustic backpack from Marlando. I got the package um, like two days ago, but I had a really busy weekend. And so I kept putting off the unboxing. But it's frustrating because you get a box in the mail, you want to open it. That, to me, means put the camera on, have some things set up to talk about. And um, anyway, it's like 11 p.m. And I thought, why not now? And um, show you guys what I get to experience. Uh, box is open. And from what I remember last time, the unboxing, I was like freaking out. I'll link it below in the description box. But the, the wrapping was really well done. So let's see if they hold true to that. Okay. All right. So in a bag. Rustic. It's, and the color is going to surprise you, I think. Okay, I'm just going to tear it open. Mm -hmm. so this is like a, a felt lining and um, it's taped down with some tape. Let's see. <laughs> In another bag, it's taped down. Oh my goodness. Oh, can you see this? Okay, I'm really sorry for all that white noise. That bothers me in videos too. Okay, here we go. Okay, if any of you have watched any of my channels, I always pick the same saddle brown color. But look what I did. I have some black, but this is like a grayish backpack. Let's get some of the plastic off. Here's the back. This is a good size. I was not sure what size this would look like. Backpack straps. And believe it or not, I only own one backpack. Um, I think they're more of an investment piece, so I... Um, I'm excited to introduce a new piece to my collection, and this is so interesting. Okay, let me zoom you in, and you can start observing these details. I have um, a couple studio lights on, and some warm lights as well, so I'm not quite sure what the color will be in the camera. Um, a post on Instagram, the perfect leather bag. I'll post some day shots tomorrow. But what do you think of this? This is a mouthful on how to say it. Okay, I was practicing. This is a white wash water buffalo leather. White wash water buffalo leather. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and because it's buffalo leather, um, I found out that this was treated with a white wax treatment. I have notes no it's white wax treatment and it really is featuring the grain of the leather I mean you can really see it in the back here and I just found that to be so cool there's a part of me that feels kind of like grunge and really like comfortable loungewear and I think this just goes perfect with that especially when I travel I'm the one in sweatpants 
Um, okay. Okay, I just want to like keep going and open it up. I always feel like, should I talk about the spec? Should I talk about the company? But I just want to touch the bag. Do you hear my puppy? She's running around upstairs. Okay. So I opened it up and there are like legit buckles. There's no fast access with this. Um, I did find actually that was pretty easy to use. Am I in frame? Yeah. Nice. And um, the leather's treated on this side, but not on this side. It's nice and soft. Is that all one piece? Okay, more stuffing. Hmm. What does this smell like? It smells like leather, but it reminds me of like a sand smell as well. So that's quite generous in size, in the depth. We have one pocket on the inside. Let me make sure you can see that. Can you see? It's just one pocket. There you can see a bit. Um, do you hear her upstairs? She's like, what are you doing downstairs? Um, the dimensions of this, I do have in front of me, uh, are 14 in height. Um, oh, did I say that wrong? I did. 15 in height, 14 in width, and 5.9 inches in depth. That 5.9 inches in depth is going to save me whenever I want to stuff this full. I'm going to be able to put so much more in there. Oh, one awesome feature I forgot to show you. It has a back zipper. So let's check out that. YKK brass zipper, easy to open. And it goes, let's see, am I in frame? From my hand to here. So that's like probably about seven or eight inches, maybe even more. That's really nice for your cell phone and stuff because there's no side pockets. I'm gonna rebuckle it so you can see it better. So today is the unboxing, right? And I wanted to be able to give you a kind of clear idea on what to expect. I do like using bags before I give a full review. But one thing I really want to note is this <laughs> white wash water buffalo leather is limited. That treatment that they're putting on their bags is um, a limited time offer. They're going to be looking for a new um, buffalo leather supplier, so that's going to delay restock. But also, um, I wanted to point out, Marlando has tons of designs in the white wash water buffalo leather. And I, you very well could be at home. You could say that so easily, but I, I'm stumbling. It is late at night. Okay. Um, so, unboxings, I don't normally talk about everything about the bag, but I wanted to make sure you knew that information, that these are limited. I wouldn't really wait around. Um, if you're interested in something like this, I know Mike Abbey had one from a um, leather group that I'm a part of on Facebook, and um, maybe I'll reach out to him and see if I can use his photo on my YouTube. So if there's a photo here right now, it's because he said I could, but he got a briefcase in this finish, and he was just thrilled with it too. And I am as well. I mean, now I get to actually see it in person. It's kind of, it almost looks like denim, doesn't it? But full grain leather. Buffalo leather. This is the Marlando Russick. I keep looking down. I'm sorry. Um, they did say uh, Tim from Marlando. Hi, Tim, who I was working with. He said in high friction points, um, the white wax will rub off, but that will make even more for an interesting patina on where it rubs off and where it doesn't. Um, it will have more of a shiny patina. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of looking at the notes. And once the whitewash is kind of, you know, buffed off from use, it can't be reapplied. So it's just going to be an evolving, it's not revolving, evolving color and backpack and texture. And so that will be really cool to see on Instagram, like all the pictures that I can post while I'm using this. Um, I did say it was a limited run. Limited run. I'm not saying that lightly. I don't want you to freak out when they sell out, but I, I, 
um, this rustic design in the backpack. Oh, top handle, perfect. This is gonna always be around. And it, they said in March they will be offering it in vegetable tan leather, which is a premium of leathers to a lot of people. Um, and yeah, this, this design will always be around, but the finish is limited. Yeah, so free shipping in the USA. They do offer custom bags that are non-returnable, 10-day return policy on normal stocked, sorry, I didn't make the wobbly, on normal stocked items, 10-day return policy, and they're, uh, they have a lifetime warranty on all their bags. So, what do you think? I'll come back, I'll tell you how it goes in a couple weeks or months here. Um, I'm gonna readjust the camera and model it for you just so you have a clear idea of what it looks like. And did I make sure I covered everything? I think I did it. Oh, do you guys want to see what can fit in it really quick? I'll probably do this in the next review too. But I wanted to see if like just the random things that I have laying around in my office and in my other bag I was carrying, I ha I've been using a tote. And I've been using a tote organizer. I wanted to see if this would fit in the bottom of the bag. Okay, tote organizer's in there. Um, let's do an iPad mini. Just kind of, oh, we can put it in the back pocket. Why not? This would be such a good carry-on bag for the airport. Move my cell phone in the back pocket. So once the bag gets full, <gasps> wait a minute. Did I just discover something? There's the iPad. I'm in the back of the bag. Here's the iPad. So, this back pocket in the inside is accessed here. Interesting. I thought it was a whole separate pocket. Okay, so if I put my cell phone, <laughs> late night rambles with the name, if I put my cell phone in the back pocket, I should be able <laughs> to access it here. Well, Snoop Doggy Dog. Okay, that was very amusing to me. Um, I don't know if I like that. Is it a pro or a con? I think that's kind of clever. Okay, moving along. Oh, I have a, a water bottle. I think these are the brand Swell. Let's put that in there. Laying down and, okay. I sing at my church, and um, today I had just enough time in the morning to do my hair, but not my makeup. So I went to church with my makeup, and <laughs> um, in between rehearsals, I put my makeup on in the bathroom, like a true diva. The solo went well. My husband said I sounded nice, and that's good. Okay, buckling it up. And then I'll model it because now it's full. And I always wonder, what will I talk about in my videos? I always find something. Okay, look at that. Very cool. Okay, I'll rearrange the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. I'm 5'5", five five, um, and here's the Marlando Russick backpack. And this is in um, the color white wash in 100% water buffalo leather. I did it. Okay, so what do you think? It's not bad, and it's very light on the back, though I had it quite full. There's probably like seven or eight pounds in there, roughly, the iPad weighs a lot. Um, but I wanna use this around town, I wanna use it on road trips, I wanna use it on the plane. And uh, I believe this is a, man, a, a men's bag. I tend to carry men's bags a lot, but um, I like how it looks at me. It's very, very uh, narrow profile. Hugs my back really well. Uh, yeah, and so um, kind of what, hold on, let's adjust that. Okay. <sighs> anyway, what I was going to say is... Um, what you can expect from me in a couple weeks here is I'm gonna do a full review. I'm gonna to talk to you about what else can fit, different scenarios. I wanna talk more about the function of the bag, 
what I think of that back zipper pocket. And um, I, I wonder if this will work a lot really well for my watercolor art supplies. But wow, it is so unique. I really like this. So I'll leave uh, the company's information down below and a link to the bag. And thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you later.